Should be. Hey, what's up, you guys? Sharpness Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Target exclusive Marvel Legends Spider-Man Homecoming Movies Deluxe Vulture. Try to pick this up. You can do so at Target. I just said it's a Target exclusive, but if you're trying to get your other Marvel Legends, you can do so at. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. Dark Side Toys is a store for you. Link below. And while you're down there, I ask you to please hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And a big shout out to Dave Wonder, a uh, good friend of the channel. And I guess like if you haven't been following his channel already, he hosts fantastic live streams. Uh, very often Robo's hosting with him. So yeah, link to his channel, link in the description below because he convinced me to pick this up. Anyway, on the side, you could see Vulture right over there. And then on the back, you could see a nice looking Vulture concept art image with the wings all kind of bent around. I don't remember seeing them like that in the movie so much. But anyway, you can see a read up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. And you can see Vulture again. We get a drony logo spot varnished on the very top. Not much more at the bottom, so let's get to it and crack this thing open. <laughs> Here's the new Vulture figure out of the packaging. And wow, there's a lot more new here than I was really expecting. I'm showing them off right here without the wings because, yeah, this was sold as an individual figure pretty much as is right here. But yeah, again, bunch of new stuff over here, new accessories. Let's get a closer look at those. And then we'll take a closer look at the figure with the wings. Now, aside from the wings, these are the accessories we get. And I'm not going to lie, these right here, these arm accessories, these are a game changer for me, or were a game changer. Uh, we do get the stand again, which is still lame. I mean, I could get him up in the air with his knees bent, hovering just a little bit, but I'm not a big fan of this. And then you get the visor, which is technically not an accessory or anything, but it just does come separate in the packaging. It has clips on each side of the helmet, and it ports on quite easily if I could demonstrate it better. But uh, there it goes. You hear the clicking sound. Yep, there it goes. Okay, <laughs> three tries. And then these arms right here are badass, or these are arm braces anyway, but I like the gold paint right there. And they are fairly soft and everything. They don't have any articulation to them. And then you get these other pieces that you put into the hands. Now, it's supposed to be one piece, right? It's supposed to be kind of connected like that. But I don't mind that you have to put them on separately. So I already took the hand off the left side just to demonstrate. You can see just, uh, you know, weave on through right over there. And then you can go ahead and put the hand on. And then when you grab this piece, you want the long end to be matching with this gold piece right over here. Just weave this between the thumb and the fingers right there. And boom, there you go. And these look dope. I really like them quite a bit. Nice little details. <laughs> So we get a new helmet sculpt over here, which for a while I thought was the only new thing about this figure. And yes, it's much more film accurate than the previous version. And for the rest of this video, yeah, you're mostly seeing a comparison between these two figures. Uh, yeah, the helmet definitely looks better on this new one. A lot more accurate. Unfortunately, uh, with its accuracy, you have this added tube on the back and that will affect the articulation, which I'll go over uh, briefly in just a little bit. But as far as aesthetics goes, I do like it. I just wish the eyes would pop a little bit more but uh, it is a film accurate looking head sculpt the eyes do pop a lot better on this one but the eyes are a lot bigger and it's not as film accurate and you get this added paint right here on the collar which i love that's like the toy biz days kind of paint detail that i love to see and we don't get that on the older one and the upper torso is exactly the same so they've just changed the paint apps right here uh, of course we get the added parts and everything which we discussed again the detail on these look really good i like those little sculpted lines on the inside of this the back of the figure has some fantastic paint apps oh that looks so sick very happy to see all that silver paint right there you can tell it's a brown piece painted silver uh, compared to this not having any paint on it and you know this is like covered by the wings apparatus and all that stuff anyway now this belt piece is the same the hips are the same as what we'd seen before but it does change once you actually get to the thigh cut so i thought that was really really neat just double checking on these yeah the belt is the same but yeah but yeah you can see this is brand new right here nice new straps and everything i love the consistency of the silver throughout uh, pinless joints right here too which is very cool so i like that they added that new tech to the figure looks great man really good job with these legs i really do like them a lot and yeah the knee pads new and all that stuff 
Really good looking calf pieces right here with the mechanics. And the toes are the same from the previous figure. So if you wanted a Vulture review with toe comparisons, you got it, bro. So I got you covered. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty dope, though. I like the added colors and everything that they've done right here. And it has peg holes at the bottom of the feet still. Now to go over the articulation with this new head. And again, I'm not going to go through everything. But yeah, you cannot get the head to look up nearly as far as you are with the previous version. I do recommend taking off the visor if you're really trying to get him to look up because you don't want to damage this thing. And yeah, dude, it's just not going to look up very far. Fairly stiff. It does shift forward and back like a pile driver. It's like you want it shifting forward and then get it to look up so you can get him to look up only that far. And at that point, I'm starting to peel the head off uh, the figure. Uh, with this older one, though, you can easily get him looking all the way up in a flying pose. So that's convenient, but again, an inaccurate head sculpt. Uh, yeah, we have the same hip articulation. Uh, the arms still won't move in all the way right over there. Uh, the legs, though, uh, the hip joints are the same and everything. But yeah, you get the upper thigh cut, you get the pinless double jointed knees, and then the ankles still move down and up, and he has beautiful ankle pivot. And finally, we have the wings, which are very similar to the wings that we'd seen with the previous version. I do like that they've kept this blue to purple gradient right here. It doesn't have as much of an overlay on the gray part, as you can see right over there. And then they've changed the color of the little turbines uh, from gray to blue with added paint detail to them, which is kind of tricky to see, but I love that they did that. Uh, the green parts are all the same. Uh, just a slightly different green color. The older one has a little bit of a speckling in the plastic. This one doesn't have that so much. But yeah, you can see the similarities where they applied the paint and everything. It's pretty much the same. I'm getting a look at the inside of each of the wings. You can see uh, very similar paint applications over there as well. Now, as far as the floppy issue with these older ones, you can see how it's just going to droop down like that, especially at these hinges. So if I <laughs> see how they just droop down like that and that is very unfortunate so yeah that's been a problem and on these newer ones uh do they flop the same way and no they don't flop the same way now you may get some floppage over here on this side but i could still get them to stay up in the air without flopping over on me of course if i wiggle it it's gonna fall over but uh just holding it right here like that I'm doing okay. Oh, see, bumped into something. This one's going to fall down. But the real issue was with these two, as you can see right here. It's these two that were falling the most, and they've resolved that. So I am very pleased. Ah, they got the paint on the inside of these turbines also. So that's actually a pretty neat detail. I like that. And if you want to just see a couple of photos of the two of them side by side from the front and the back, there you go. Now to measure out this Redux Vulture figure, you can see he's standing a little over six and a half inches tall. And once again, the wingspan is at about 20. 22 inches across and for just a few size comparisons i mean this is the best i could do getting these two side by side with their wings attached but yeah you can see uh, both vultures right over there not looking too bad quite a bit crammed and then here's the new vulture figure next to the homemade suit spider-man figure from marvel legends and then we also have my favorite homecoming suit spider-man figure out of all of them i am going mezco yeah that, that's my favorite one and then here's the new vulture figure next to your average six inch scale figure we have the marvel legends big time letdown spider-man Oh, you got a lot of green. Yeah, I got a lot of green, too. A lot of people think I actually need a repaint. Well, they kind of did a repaint. Eh, they actually did a redo, you know, like complete body redo. You just got new legs, you know, but I actually... <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, show some love to the channel by hitting that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And if you're in a position to do so and you want the bonus content, check out the Patreon and membership. Big thanks to all these people that are in a position to do so. And this figure is not for everybody. Just to say that flat out, it's not for everybody. You have to really like the character or really like the movie or just sincerely really want an updated version of this figure because it does bring some new stuff to it. It's just not a whole ton. So if you really want that new stuff, yeah, go ahead and get it. You'll be happy with what you did. I'm happy with picking this up. I would prefer not to buy the same figure twice, but uh, you know, you could just sell the older one, help make up for the cost right over there, even though you're not gonna be able to sell it for as much as you would have before this came out, but still it'll help with the budget and everything, you know, selling the older one 
in putting that money towards this newer one right over here. So that's a way to justify it. But again, not for everybody. It's like, I'm just saying that if you really want an updated Vulture figure, I recommend it. And at the price point of around 40 to 45 bucks, I'm going to give this updated Vulture a sun rating of... It's not so bad. And I'd like to know what you guys think, so please let me know in the comments section below. If you want to see a photo gallery of images and the latest Marvel news, you can find it all over at MarvelousNews.com. And if you want to stay in touch with me over on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and TikTok. And I will catch you guys later. Peace. It's the kind of thing I'm going to play with my toys today. Well, I don't care what my people say. I'm going to play with my toys today. They have one. I got to get them all. Time to make a trip to the local mall. Oh, yeah. Now to measure out this room. Oh. That's crispy. Hey, let me show up Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.